Hello, uh, good afternoon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Mr. Santos Capitan Jr. Wishing you always a good day. Now, today, what I'm planning to do is to uh, continue my part two for this kid water system, okay? Now, as you can see here, I already prepared my simple logic control program. Actually, I prepared three uh, control program for one for chiller, okay, for this chiller, then one for primary pumps, then one for secondary pumps, okay, because I don't want to create one big program for the entire system, because uh, as you know, it is a little bit difficult to uh, check if your control logic is a little bit big or complicated, okay. So in order to easily check my control logic program, I have created three small programs, one or three small functional block program, one for chiller, one for primary pumps, and one for secondary pump. In this way, you can easily uh, go, let's say if you have problem in primary pumps, you can easily go to the primary pumps control logic program and check where is the problem. Unlike if you have a big problem, if you have a big, uh, functional block program that covers the entire system, it will be a little bit uh, uh, difficult to trace the problem, okay? okay? Especially if your logic is becoming more complicated. Now, that is the one of the approach to make your programming more, uh, you can, to make it more uh, easy to debug, okay? Now here, this is my uh, control logic program for my chiller. Okay, so it's just a few blocks. Then this is my uh, for my primary pump. Okay, then secondary pump. Okay, for my primary and secondary pumps, the approach or the logic is almost similar. Okay, then I already implemented here sequencing. Uh, when I say sequencing, primary pumps will change over automatically. Likewise, the secondary pump will change over automatically. As you can see here, uh, in my primary side, PP1 is running, okay? Now my primary pump sequencing set point is only three minutes. Now I, in, the real world, in the real application, you have to make it in hour, okay? Let's say if the primary pumps run one week, uh, primary pump one, then after a week, primary pump two will take over, okay? So that is sequencing or change over. Now, the purpose of this is to always implement uh, equal wear and tear in your mechanical equipment, okay? So as you can see here, primary pump is one is running. When it reaches this uh, three minutes, then it will stop or if, it, uh, if the run hours or the Runtime exceeds three minutes, then it will stop. Then primary pump two will be the one to take over the operation. Okay, so that is called sequencing. Now I have here my now it's already 120 minutes here. This is the run hours for the maintenance purposes. Okay, so sequencing is different from the accumulated run hours of the equipment. Run hours accumulation is the one we use if we want to do preventive maintenance for the equipment. Let's say for this primary pump one. If it will reach uh, maybe in the real application 500 hours or 1000 hours, you need to do some preventive maintenance like uh, lubrication or checking of the equipment itself, okay? So as you can see here, pump one is stopped, then automatically the sequencing time uh, reset or back to zero, then primary pump to take over, okay? So the same approach for uh, secondary pump. As you can see here, I have here already in my secondary pump two, it's already three minutes. So, okay, as you can see, it is stopped then, uh, primary, uh, secondary pump one, take over, okay? Now, uh, here, the chiller, as I said, this chiller, it has uh, two uh, 
screw type compressor. Then it is an air cool chiller. Okay, as you can see here, my chiller is working. Okay, based on my control logic program. Then uh, the active temperature set point 5.5 degrees centigrade. Now this one will be the uh, set point for the chiller built in or its own control. Okay, now because the chiller it has its own control, it has its own microprocessor based controller that will control the operation of the chiller. Okay, then it is not always two compressor will run based on the cooling load or the chilled water uh, return temperature, then the compressor will sequence also. Uh, if the cooling load is, or the cooling load demand is great, then there's a time that the uh, two screw type compressor can run simultaneously, okay? Now, uh, here, as you can see here, in the chiller, I have the butterfly valve, okay? Open and close, then I have a flow switch here. Now, actually, chiller, it has its own flow switch installed in the cooler of the chiller, okay? Now, but as a BMS engineer, I'm also uh, installing a flow switch so that I can monitor if water is flowing in the cooler, okay? Now here, as you can see here, delta temperature is the difference between the supply and the return temperature, okay? Now most of the chiller, I think, uh, based on my experience in the Middle East, the supply temperature is around five degrees and the return temperature will be around 11 degrees. So there will be always a delta T of six degrees, okay? So this is the design of the chiller, okay? Now, uh, I have here plant enable. This plant enable will shut down the entire plant if there's some problem or during maintenance. So let's say uh, if we are going to do some maintenance for the entire system, we can uh, disable the plant, okay? So if you will make this false, then the system will stop normally, okay? Now here, I have also the change over request okay for the primary pumps chiller stop request okay there is also there it is included in my control logic program then time schedule time schedule i also created the time schedule here okay now for the primary power for the chiller uh, we are monitoring the auto status then the start or the start stop command we are controlling the start stop command meaning this chiller will give one contact to BMS so that we can remotely start to stop the chiller, okay? Now we also monitoring the run status, then the trip status, okay? Then primary circuit status and secondary circuit status, okay? Now, as you can see here, let's say primary circuit status, it will give me warning if I will remove or if there is only one available Primary pump. Okay, let me simulate it. I will remove the PP2 since uh, PP1 is running. I will remove the hand of auto status or I will put pump two, primary pump two in uh, manual or opposition. Okay, so you will see it will give me a warning. Okay, so pump two is not in auto, not auto, then there will be a warning here. Okay, so I will remove it, I will put it back in automatic. Okay, so the warning will be gone. Likewise, the same approach in secondary pump two. Okay. Now, actually, guys, this is a very simple uh, control logic program. If you have a system like this in your project, it is a very simple to write the control logic program okay now what is the the only difficult task here is the sequencing okay now uh, okay the same point for secondary pump almost the same control and monitoring points okay now here the secondary pumps are controlled by variable frequency drive okay as you can see here 
the speed for the secondary pump it is at 80 percent okay now actually i will not show you the uh, how the secondary pump will play based on the uh, dpt reading here okay now uh, in the real application based on the differential pressure uh, set point these two pumps will uh, ramp up and ramp down okay now during winter the chill water requirement in the field will be less so your pump will run uh, it will slow down okay but it will not stop because there should be always uh, always continuous flow of chilled water in the pipeline okay now i have here also a bypass line okay bypass line is to let's say as i said during winter the chilled water requirement in the field is very less so some of the water will just go back to the chiller okay then what else then you can uh, i make it flexible i can always adjust the uh, sequencing set point then the run hour set point okay now this the run hours are set to minutes so that we will not wait for one hour till something will happen okay for checking the control you can always uh, use minutes or seconds but it's better to use minutes because second is very fast okay now here uh, it's almost uh, the same approach from my previous tutorial in my chilled water pumps okay so there is no new uh, control logic here because this is just a simple one okay now this is just to guide a new uh, bms engineer or a new mechanical engineer to give him an idea how this simple chilled water system will work and you have already an idea if you will encounter this kind of project or if this kind of system in the project at least you have an idea how are you going to control it okay now to tell you how you have to control it first make sure that primary pumps and secondary pumps are available meaning both pumps are in automatic or all pumps are in automatic and ready for action okay now you have here the butterfly valve now what is happening here based on my control logic program if there is available primary pump and there is available secondary pump and there is no trip in the chiller what I will do, I will try to open first the butterfly bulb here, okay? Now, when the butterfly bulb open status is received in my primary pumps uh, control logic program, then that's the time to start my uh, one of the primary pumps, okay? Then when the flow is established, when flow is established, okay, when there is already flow, then that's the time to uh start the chiller okay then at the same time you can start also the secondary pump okay so first uh, check if the system is healthy okay then check if there is one available primary pump and one available secondary pump if it is true then you can open the butterfly valve for the return return pipeline of the chiller or return side of the chiller when it is already open it will be received by our primary pump control logic program then that's the time to start one of the pumps then if you want you can start one of the secondary pumps then you can start the chiller okay so uh, the chiller as i said it has its own control it will be the one to control this active temperature set point okay so we will not be the one to control the set point for the chiller i mean the temperature we will not be the one to control the supply and return temperature the chiller itself will be the one to control based on the set point okay for this control logic program or for this system all we need to control are the butterfly valve then the two primary pumps and the two secondary pumps okay so this is a very simple program control logic program for beginners okay 
So again, uh, I'm not uh, claiming any expertise in this field. I'm just trying to share what I have learned in the Middle East in my previous project, okay? So again, uh, I hope uh, this is an introduction to new BMS engineer or new mechanical engineer who are wishing to join the field of building automation or building management system, or those who want to join uh, MEP company, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing company, okay? So again, uh, thank you very much for watching this short video clips or tutorial. Uh, and if you are new to my channel, uh, you can show appreciation of what I am doing. If you like this uh, or if you appreciate this simple tutorial, you can always uh, subscribe and you can also click the notification bell for my, if there is available new upload, you will be notified. Then uh, again, Santos Capitan Jr. will always say, God bless us all and thanks for watching and bye for now.